with your girl sure can you when you get a minute actually a few minutes because I got a long name but when you get a few minutes go to my YouTube channel sure can you hit subscribe look at some of the videos get the message and if you hear anything that you like if you see anything that you like you heard anything that you like just hit share. Hey, Ink, how you doing, boo? Link, Link a lot. How you doing, baby? So, y'all, today we just gonna, we gonna piggyback from yesterday. That's why I labeled it Psychological Damage Part 2. So, we're gonna piggyback from yesterday. Hey, Carl, how you doing, honey? And so, yeah, that's what we doing. Because <laughs> I said so much yesterday and when I go back and look at my videos, I try to make sure y'all got something out of it. If I, I try to make sure I get something out of it, even though I'm the messenger, I'm the one doing the delivery. Hey, Mark, how you doing, boo? I try to go back and look at the videos, make sure I got a full thought out, make sure whatever mission I was trying to accomplish, I accomplished it. Whatever message I was trying to get out, I try to make sure it's understood. So if I go back and feel the need to recap, sometimes I do. So today it wasn't, it was a need only because it was a continuation because I didn't finish saying what I had to say yesterday. Okay, so, you know, we're going back, we, we're looking at these manipulation tips that I gave you when we first started doing the videos, which is almost four years ago. Yeah, I've been talking about co-parenting almost four years, right? So, now we're looking at the effect that these manip manipulation tips might have on you and your children over time, right? So now we're looking at the damage that it has caused with your family, with your children. Um, like I told you, since my situation, everybody is going through depression. Like, we didn't suffer from depression before. You know what I'm saying? So when I tell you my life was perfect, it was. And I know you like, hey, nothing perfect, can you not? Y'all had issues. Y'all had some things going on. Y'all wasn't doing everything the right. And, and, and you're right, and we did. But we had things going on in our life that were natural things, things that you actually go through through life just blifing. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing to the degree of we're depressed and we're struggling to do this and struggling to do that. No, it, that, wasn't, that wasn't our case. That wasn't our story and that wasn't our family. Right. So, talking about the psychological damage that's caused when you remove a child from a parent and there is no abuse or neglect so if it's no abuse or neglect that means the other parent was doing what they were supposed to do right that's what that means that's what that means because if they're absent they're being neglective if they're abusing the baby by physically hitting them or not feeding them and taking that's abuse so if the parent is not doing neither one of those things what would be a reason to remove a child Hey, Scotty. Hey, Daquan. How you doing? Yeah, hey, Baskin. Hey, baby. Yeah, tell me that. If there's no abuse or neglect, what reason would a parent have to remove a child? Think about it. If you come up with something, put them up there so I can see. I know. Look at my situation. By her not being in my life, you got people running around here thinking, oh, mommy dears. <laughs> no wire hangers. <laughs> But they got me running around right here looking at me like I'm, I'm what you call a mama, Carrie mama, right? No. In all actuality, I was more like Claire Hustable and Mrs. Cleaver. <laughs> now, if that ain't abuse, I don't know what it is. If you take a child out of an environment where she had a mama like Claire Hustable or Mrs. Beaver, Cle Mrs. Cleaver, I know. That's where that damage come in at. Because you actually got to make a child believe that. Yeah, think about that. Think about what could possibly be done for somebody to make a Carrie Mama look like uh, Claire Huxtable. Huh? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. To make the Mommy Dearest Mama look like Mrs. Cleaver. Then you know how much has to be done to make that happen? To actually see those people together. They don't look nothing alike. 
parenting styles is different. The way they, yeah, everything is different. So to make them look the same, oh, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Because I'm trying to stick the script, y'all. Trying to stick the script because in all actuality, in raising my kids, I became the mama that I wanted. I became the mama that I wanted. Hey, Keith, how you doing, baby? Yep. Hey, Verona, beautiful. Hey, Lisa. Yep, I was the parent that I always wanted. Let that sizzle in your spirit for a minute, right? <laughs> But if she still was here living today, I would hope that she would go through rehab and get clean. I would hope that she would probably go back to school and continue her education. I would hope that she would probably find a job, stay clean, and get herself together if she was here. And even if she didn't, I still would love her to death because she my mama. Yeah, you're supposed to have unconditional love for your parents. Yeah, it should be no judgment there. It should be, you know what I mean? Your parents, they are like the pentacle. Of who you are, you know what I mean? They are the reasons why you are here, right? So yeah, I would love my mom. I love my mama when she was here. Using drugs. Yeah. So yeah, I became the mama that I wanted. I wanted a mama that, that cooked for me. I wanted a mama that took me to school. Hey, Melanie Monique. Child may not have agreed with differences in parenting, living in a single parent home the child has the chance to see both sides that's right you that's right and the child's supposed to see both sides so when you take them from that other parent and you shelter them from that the child is losing out yep the child is losing out in most cases because that other parent can't give them with that parent that they took them away from give it's impossible a child needs a mother and a father yeah you get different things from each one y'all are two different people y'all two different period Y'all can both have the same morals and values, but teach them a different way because one is a male perspective and one is a female perspective. So the child needs a balance of both. So, yep, love my mother any, anyway, but when she was alive, blah, 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 I got that. I don't want to miss nothing from yesterday, y'all, because I kind of went through. Okay, we talked about taking away something that's supposed to be there, right? Because it's different when a child loses a parent through death. That's God's will. That was the natural way of things that's supposed to happen. Usually people come together and try to pitch in and do what that parent would have done when that parent is, it, you know, passes on. But to remove a child purposely, and there's no abuse or neglect. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. When a child loses a parent, they usually go to grief counseling. And that's not to say they're going to be okay. It's not to say they're going to be okay. But if you go to grief counseling and all the people stand up, they there to help, right? But when a child is pulled out of a parent's life and a parent is still there able to do, you got to have reasons for that, y'all. We talked about this yesterday. So when, you, when that's done, that, tames, that changes the time trajectory of everything. And I'm probably not even using the right word in the right context. But when you remove a child like that and there's no abuse or neglect, that means it's not supposed to happen. You change things. It's like going back in time and how you try to you change something and then it, it, it alters the future. That's, that's exactly what happens when you remove a child. Like in my situation, all my children were destined for grace, greatness. We were all on a good path. Everybody was functioning and progressing as they should. Um, we were creating opportunities for one another by us working together with each other. All my children were supposed to succeed. Yep. Not just one. <laughs> and that's not to say that the others aren't succeeding, but you best believe when the baby was pulled out and disorders come into play, it, it, it becomes barriers. It becomes stumps in the road that, that kind of stops you and prevent you from doing certain things. Yeah, in my mission, the children were standing on each other's backs. They climbed each other's backs and standing on each other's shoulders, correct myself, right? And it seemed like when the baby got to the top from climbing everybody's shoulders, she walked away. Yeah, my vision was we start pulling each other out and all of us be on top, right? It's, I don't wanna say crabs in the bucket because it's, 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 it's that, but not that. Because see, we, we were all getting out. <laughs> My plan was set up for all of us to get out, right? Nobody left behind. No man left behind, right? So if, 
if, if I'm preaching that and you got the other parent preaching just for self, right there, there's a conflict of interest. Fix it, Jesus. It's a conflict of interest. Now you're giving a child options that they shouldn't have. And you're forcing that child to make a decision because y'all both preaching two totally different things. That's why y'all got to be on the same page with these kids. Because y'all create the blueprint. Y'all as parents are creating the blueprint with, with the teachings, with the morals, with the values, with the discipline, with the routine, with the structure, with the things that you do that the child sees so they can emulate. You doing all this to make their life better, I would hope. Everything I did was to make my children's lives better than, than mine's, right? So all that work, effort. Yeah, if you got a parent that's going against you, all that effort and work that you put into is pretty much gone, right? Or is it? <laughs> because if the child is poured out your life, the child got to sift through all of the teachings, the morals, the values. And if they come across some of these things that are the same, that's confusing as hell. Because here it is, y'all got the same morals and values but this child is being told that these morals and values aren't right because they coming from this parent but they is right if they coming from them how confusing is that for a child to try to sift through figure out what and then if the child is keeping some of the teachers from the other parent how is that when that parent is not in your life make that make sense to me how can you like for instance everything that I did as a mom she's living a life that we <laughs> talked about but yet and still I'm not a part of that make that make sense to me make that make sense to me you can't <laughs> neither can I <laughs> I know so yeah so we talked about that yesterday standing on each other's shoulders I said that conflict adventures I said that yeah I'm gonna get through all of it today at least I'm gonna try to Mention the teachings and the values and the morals. I said that damage comes when you try to sift through. I said that parents job. I said that y'all I'm doing good. I'm actually sticking to the page today. <laughs> um, let's see. Move the child. Both of y'all. Mm -hmm. I said that. I think that was it, guys. Even the things that y'all both teach that are the same can be different because it's a male perspective and a female perspective. I said that. And then your child might suffer from resentment. Your child might suffer from abandonment issues. It's a good chance your child can have trust issues. It's a chance that by them, they definitely going to have anger issues. Yeah, as a result of you using these manipulation tips. And I think that was it, y'all. I pretty much just wanted to cover everything we talked about yesterday. Make sure you understood everything I was trying to say. Get you to put your mind in that mindset so you can see the psychological damage that can possibly be caused if you continue to do this. Get you to think about some things for a few minutes. And also, I got a show for you. Now, you can't watch this show with your kids. <laughs> and some of y'all probably already watched it and seen it because it's pretty old. That Tyler Perry... Zatima, I think I hope I Z, Zatima, I hope I pronounced that right. Zatima, yes, baby, I don't got a whiff of that show. <laughs> and I, <laughs> that damn Devel, I think that's his name. Oh, he's a fine specimen. Hey, man, he has a beautiful wife. Let me throw that in there. But yep, y'all, it's a good show. So if you ain't doing nothing, you looking for a good show to binge watch. That is a good one. Hey Elizabeth. Hey Billy. Hey Christopher. All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all day. I got a couple things to do. I'm out. Mwah.